Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Those of you who have been tuned into the live audio and video stream at live.perillo.com have been treated to some impromptu musical compositions on my Tenorion. Uh, I love this thing. It's completely uh, addictive. Uh, it's worse than coffee. And I am wearing my Pete's cap. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aliens 300C and 4Ones, for sending the Pete's gift certificates, by the way. I appreciate it. Uh, so what I was looking for was a way to compose on the hardware to have it automatically synchronized with the computer and software and then save out those compositions as MIDI files because the Tenorion came with MIDI cables. We've talked about MIDI before, musical instrument digital interface. Problem is, is that laptops and computers these days really don't come with MIDI cables. So I've got another cable plugged into these MIDI cables and that would be a USB cable because I purchased an M-Audio USB cable that allowed me to directly connect any MIDI device uh, to anything that had a USB and specifically had the software to run it, so Windows and or Mac OS X. So once I had that done, then it was up to me to find a way to uh, synchronize the channels on the Tenorion with channels on, well, in this case, the Mac. And I couldn't find software to do it. I mean, I know there's a lot of audio editing packages out there, and I've tried them all. Unfortunately, none of them would would map from channel to channel. It would funnel every channel on my Tenorion into a single channel in, in software, and that didn't work as I wanted it to work because I wanted independent voices for independent channels. Uh, the best program I found uh, for it's free on OS X, and it's also easy. It's called Simple Synth, and then for Windows, there's Synth Font. Both of them are free. Synth Font is a, a bit tricky to use, uh, but of course, uh, Simple Simple Synth worked quite well. So now I've got a composition playing here on the Tenorion, which I have plugged into my amplifier. And we'll go here. So that's just something I whipped up real quick. And it's also being passed through to the Mac, again, using the MIDI to USB cable from M-Audio. I'm going to unmute it now because it's been going on in the background here. Here we go. I can change those voices, by the way. in perfect sync. So I've cleared out all the voices. They're still in sync. The measure's still moving along. It's just there's nothing playing back. See? And if I hit clear again, then it'll clear up. Uh, again, uh, this program was free, so it allowed for a live pass-through channel for channel so I could set independent voices in software. I looked at all the fancy audio editing packages, and then believe me, I, I swear, I've looked at every one of them, and people have been giving suggestions all day long, and they're, number one, um, I, I have yet to find an audio program that uh, looks like it wasn't designed by a fourth grader. Uh, they all look absolutely ghastly. Uh, but beyond that, the functionality just simply wasn't there. I found what I was looking for at the base level uh, in, well, specifically in the program SimpleSynth for the Mac. Um, if I was going to record it, I would have to use another application, which kind of sucks because I couldn't record each channel independently as it was being fed live from this particular piece of hardware into that particular piece of software. But I'm using Wiretap Pro to record the sound on the computer as it sounds because Wiretap Pro will uh, listen to everything that happens to be happening uh, through the computer's audio, and of course I could limit it to just what's happening on the mic, what's not happening on the mic, system-wide, etc., and come up with uh, a recording like this. That's an MP3. 
Uh, and uh, so I used Wiretap Pro to record, Simple Synth to connect, well, be my MIDI configurator with voices and whatnot. Uh, it's not exactly the same voices as what's on this hardware because that uh, the sound fonts are completely different. Uh, but that's okay because it, it actually added a different dynamic uh, to synchronizing at least by MIDI uh, between hardware and software because I've got a different sound on the Tenorion in the background and then here I've got a completely different sound which of course I could record. I could try to match the voices, you know, exactly but I don't know if that would be as much fun. Maybe it would, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I, I just you know figured it out and I wanted to let everybody know that yes, uh, this is a pretty good product. It's, it's worked for me so far, uh, at least in, in how I've been trying to use it. MIDI to USB, and uh, M-Audio is the company that creates it. I've also got uh, their, uh, that's, what is it? I haven't used it forever for podcasting, but uh, they've got, I've got this little thing too. Uh, the Microtrack 2496, yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, it records to Compact Flash, a solid state uh, audio recorder, um, but uh, this was this was a godsend, especially when I was doing more audio recording. Of course, now what I'm doing more of is the actual video stuff. So if you know of a really cool audio gadget, gizmo, maybe you know software that's going to do what I'm trying to do, exactly like what I'm trying to do, easy and affordable, let me know. My email address is chris at perillo.com. And of course, you're also welcome to see us stream live video. You might hear me, fortunately or unfortunately, making music with my Tenorion. I am in love with this thing. I'm, I'm not kidding. Uh, but, you know, uh, we're typically talking about software and hardware and gadgets and games and gizmos. We do it all the time. Uh, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, but in order to interact with us, well, you got you to gotta come there. You, you got to join us, you know, because it's not just me. It's also this handful of chatters. And I think right now, uh, how many chatters do we have? Close to about 300 right now who are watching, who are watching this live video production that you could be a part of the next time around. If you stop by, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.